welcome. My name is Calliope and I'm going to be the student nurse who's going to be assessing you today. Is that all right? Excellent. How are you feeling today? Good to hear. So let's see what we've got going on. So we are going to be performing a head-to-toe assessment and just as it sounds, we're going to be looking at you starting with your head and ending not exactly with your feet, but we'll be working systematically through your body and assessing and making sure everything is working properly, right? Mind if I just ask you a couple questions before we begin? Wonderful. So, do you mind if I grab your full name? Mm-hmm. And is that the name you prefer to go by? Excellent. Perfect. And your date of birth? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. So, do you know where you currently are? Okay, wonderful. You are at the University Clinic. And what year is it? Mm -hmm. 2021. Wonderful. You are alert and oriented. And do you have any particular reason for this visit? Okay. All right. That's just fine. So I'm going to pop on a pair of gloves real quick and I'm going to check your vital signs, okay? change the sizes on me. <laughs> there. Bit of a tight fit, but I think it'll be alright. So we're gonna start by taking your blood pressure, right? There we are. Ooh. grab my sphygmomanometer right here. Is there any particular arm you wish me to take your blood pressure on? Okay. I'm just going to set that down and pop my stethoscope in. Alrighty, there we are. So, just going to go ahead and uncuff this. Okay, and I'm just going to place that on your arm right here. Okay, very good. Is that quite firm for you? All right, I'm just going to take the dial in my hand here, and I'm going to place the stethoscope right here, crook of your elbow, and I'm going to inflate the cuff, okay? It'll get pretty tight, right? But it shouldn't last very long. I 
just realized I had made a critical error when I just took your blood pressure. I didn't even grab your consent. Spacey, huh? Do you mind if I touch you for this examination? I know I've done it already. Definitely shouldn't have, but do you mind if I do that? Wonderful. I apologize for not doing that earlier. Alright. Go ahead and note down your blood pressure real quick. Millimeters of mercury. There we are. Okay, so I'm gonna grab your oxygen saturation real quick. So let me grab a little clip here. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop this onto your fingertip. Go and just hold one out. There we go. And I'm just gonna sit here for a few moments. Let me take a look. Okay, very good. Alright, I'm going to take that off. And just set that back down. Excellent. So, I am going to take your pulse and measure respirations. Alright, so I'm going to use this arm over here. Okay, so if you could just hold that out for me. Mm hmm. And I'm just going to place my fingers right at the base of your thumb at your radial artery, right? Mm hmm Okay. We're just chilling here for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Very good. Excellent. So, let me note that down. Excellent. And lastly, I want to take your temperature. So, I'm going to just unsheathe this from its protective sterilized container. And I'm going to turn it on, and then I will have you open your mouth and lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. I'll put this right at the back, the base of your tongue. I'll have you put your tongue over that, okay? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and just do that right there. Alright, you can lay your tongue down. Excellent. I won't make too much chatter as I know you can't really... You can't talk with something in your mouth. At least it wouldn't be polite, yeah? is normal. So now we're going to move on to the H-E-E-N-T examination. Your head, your eyes, your ears, nose, and throat. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just checking your scalp and your head. I want to make sure that there is symmetry, that there's not any lumps or bumps, there's not any tenderness, I want to make sure the hair growth is normal, okay? So you'll just feel me just feeling around your scalp. I'll start with your hairline and then move around as I can, okay? Please let me know if there's any pain or discomfort, right? Okay. So I'm just going to start again, as I said, right here at the hairline. smooth sailing. That's good to hear. Okay, I'm just going to check here around, around the ears. Okay. There we are. Very good. And the top of the head here.
the side so I can take a better look. going to feel, come back and just feel the contours of the skull and the occiput there. Very good. So it feels like all the bumps that should be there are, and any that shouldn't are not. So I'm just going to note that down. I would like to take a little look at your ears now. So I'm going to be. Ooh, there we are. Don't want to knock that off. I'm going to be firstly inspecting the ears and taking a little, little feel. Again, looking for bumps that shouldn't be there, lesions, any abrasions, things of that nature. So I'm going to start with this ear, I think. these bilaterally just to make sure I got everything. It's much better to be more thorough than not. speculums have been sterilized prior to you coming in. So I'm going to take a little peek inside each of your ears and just note if there's anything going on. Please let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. So I'm just going to pop the light on and let's take a peek. Is there any pain or tenderness in that? Okay. Didn't figure, but 
should ask anyway. So I'm gonna pull up and back on your other ear and just come in and gently insert the otoscope. Okay, so another nice clear ear canal. Excellent. I trust you don't put any Q tips in your ears, correct? Wonderful. Your ears are. checking cranial nerve number eight now and I'm going to be just whispering a few words into one ear while I cover the other one. I just want you to repeat back to me what you hear, okay? Wonderful. So, I'll start with this ear, right? So I'm just going to cover your other ear. those words. Excellent. And the other. Liquid. Goldfish. Brush. Okay. And what were those words? Wonderful. Go ahead and just jot that down. going to now be testing cranial nerves 2, 3, 4, and 6. Those all have to do with your eyes in particular. And we're going to start with our Snellen chart back there. I'm going to be testing your visual acuity. And I just want you to say aloud the letter that I'm pointing to when I get back there, all right? Get back there. There we are. See that okay? Okay, so just want you to tell me whatever letter I'm pointing to. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Mm hmm. Good. Mm hmm Good. Mm hmm Good. Good. Uh-huh. Mm hmm Good. 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 Mm hmm Perfect. Perfect. Mm hmm Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Okay. Can you cover one eye for me? So you're only looking with one eye? Great. And just do that over again. Mm hmm Good. 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 Mm hmm Mm hmm Good. Mm hmm mm hmm Good. 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 Mm hmm Good. Good. Uh-huh. Mm hmm Yes. Yes. Perfect. Mm hmm Perfect. 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 Okay. And cover the other eye for me. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good. Good. Mm hmm. Good. Yes. 
You can go ahead and put your hands down. I'm just going to note that real quick. You did excellently. Okay, so. Now I would like to test your pupillary reflexes. So we're going to do what is called the direct consensual response test. Okay, so I'm going to put my hand up between both of your eyes. I'm going to bring my light in on one side. I'm going to shine it into your eye. And the eye that I'm shining into should react to the light. That would be our direct response as it is being directly shined into. And then when I do that same maneuver, bring the light to this eye, your other eye over here should react in the same way at the same time. That would be our consensual response as they are consensually responding to the same light. Okay? Alright, so don't have to do anything at all but stare straight ahead. Consensual. 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 Excellent. Direct. 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 Consensual. Consensual. And consensual. Excellent. So now I'd like to test your accommodation reflex. So I'm going to be just shining the light here and I'm going to bring it in and out. I want you to follow this light using only your eyes without moving your head, okay? So shine the light. I want you to follow this light as I bring it in. side. Same deal. Just bring this in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Excellent. So now let's do a test called follow the light. I'm going to be stepping back here, and I'm going to be shining the light, and I want you to just follow the light using only your eyes without moving your head, just like we did with the accommodation reflex, okay? Alright, so just keep your eyes on the light and follow the light. Follow the light. Switch it up just a bit. Let's go up, down, to the side, to the side, up, down, to the side, to the side. Okay, let's go 
diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally down, diagonally up, diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally down, diagonally up. Wonderful. Okay. So now I'm going to test cranial number one, the olfactory nerve, and I'm just going to have you take a little smell of a couple different things. So I've got a little bottle here and I'm going to have you close your eyes, and I want you to cover one side of your nose, okay? And I'm just going to open this up, and I'm going to let you have a little smell here, okay? What's that smell like? Cinnamon, very good. And let's grab that one, okay? Keep your eyes closed, and switch your hand to the other nostril, okay? And what does this smell like? Uh huh. Okay, mint. Very good. And last one. So this time you can keep both your nostrils open, but keep your eyes closed. Okay. And just have a little smell there. Coffee. Very good. Now I'm going to take the speculum off of my otoscope and put on a new one. And then we're going to take a look inside your nose. Okay, just pop that on. And I'm going to flip on the light here. And I'm going to have you tip your head back for me, okay? Alright, this won't go in your nose at all. I'm just taking a little peek. Go ahead and put your head back. Great. So now I'm going to test cranial nerves number five and seven. So I'm going to have you do a few different facial muscle exercises for me. So first, could you Raise your eyebrows for me. Good. And can you squint your eyes? Very good. Can you puff out your cheeks? Very good. And can you smile real wide for me, showing your teeth? Very good. And can you clench your jaw? Mm-hmm. And let me just feel that there. Go ahead and clench your jaw. Very good. All right. Go ahead and unclench your jaw. Wonderful. So now I'm going to test your trigeminal nerve. And with this, I'm going to do the soft or sharp test. So I have a toothpick, which is going to act as our sharp tool and a cotton bud, which will act as our soft tool. So I'm just going to just poke right by your jaw here so you can feel what that feels like. It's not going to be painful at all. Okay, right there. Feel okay? Okay, and how about the cotton bud? Okay, feels okay? Excellent. So let's go ahead and close your eyes for me. And I'm just going to either use the soft or the sharp tool. And I just want you to tell me which one it is, soft or sharp, right? Uh 
sharp. Soft. Soft. Sharp. Soft. Excellent. Put those away. Just touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Very good. And can you stick out your tongue for me? Mm -hmm. And can you move it from side to side? Okay, how about up? And down. Okay, and put your tongue back into your mouth. Okay, so now I'm going to test cranial nerve number 11. I'm firstly going to have you shrug your shoulders for me. Okay, that's all. Just up and down. Okay, can you do that against my hands here? Just push against them. Very good. And now I'm going to put my hand on one side or the other of your face. And I'm going to try to keep your head from turning. I want you to just turn against my hand, okay? All right, so turn against my hand, very good. And this side, turn against my hand, very good. Doing excellently. Okay. Now I'm going to be checking your lymph nodes. So I'm going to start with the occipital nodes in the back and end with the supraclavicular right along your clavicle, okay? So you'll just feel me feeling around the back of your head, around your ears, and along your neck, okay? Just want you to hold still for me. Any pain or tenderness? Okay, doing okay. Right, just along your clavicle here. Very good. So now I'm going to take a little feel at your thyroid. I'm going to go behind you and I'm going to ask you to swallow for me. Okay, that helps me to feel it, right? Either feel it or not. Alrighty. want to feel that one just a touch. If I really feel your thyroid, touch of an issue. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the respiratory exam, the cardiac exam, your abdomen. We'll take a look at your arms and legs, okay? All right, wonderful. So, firstly, I am going to be just going behind you and percussing and palpating along your back, okay? So I'm just coming behind you here and just going to firstly just palpate along your back here. Do you have any trouble with any chest pain, any breathing, any issues of the sort? Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to percuss your back here. So I'm going to just put one hand on your back 
I'm gonna tap on that hand with the other one, okay? So I'll just press. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Very good, excellent. So now I'd like to check your kidneys, okay? So please let me know if this is tender at all. Okay, all good. Very good, no tenderness. Excellent, so now I'm going to check, I'm going to check, there we are, check your chest expansion. So I'm going to put my hands around your chest here, and I want you to take a big breath in for me. Okay? Can you do that? Yes. Big inhale. Okay, very good. And go ahead and exhale. So now I'm going to take a listen to your lungs. I'm just going to put my stethoscope on real quick. Alrighty. And I'll ask you to just take a deep breath and then let it out, okay? So, take a deep breath in for me. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in, and out, deep breath in, and out, deep breath in, and out, lastly, deep breath in, and out. Wonderful. So, I'm going to come back around here. And I'm just going to be taking a listen in the front of your chest, okay? So, again, deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. pause just to take some notes. Right. Okay. So now I'd like to take a listen to your carotid artery check if there is any bruise, which is an audible heart murmur, okay? So, I'm going to be checking one side and the other, and when I do, I'm just going to have you hold your breath, okay? So, if you'd like to take a breath in, and hold that. Okay, go ahead and take a breath, right? Deep breath in, and hold. Wonderful, excellent. You can go ahead and breathe normally for me. Wonderful. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little listen to your heart. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little listen to all the valves of your heart. So I'm going to start right here with the Okay, so now I'm 
side mm -hmm. and just going to be looking here for any JVD, just checking your jugular venous pressure I'm not going to need the stethoscope anymore, so I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put it to the side. There we are. And I'm actually going to be taking a look at your arms, okay? So, I want you to just relax your arms. I'm just going to palpate them. Very good. And can you show me your elbows? Uh huh. Very good. You can put those down. So I'm going to look at your hands now. You can just put those up with your palms towards the floor. Okay. And I'm going to check your capillary refill here. Just pressing on each finger, releasing. Bit firm, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure your circulation is good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can you go ahead and flip your hands over for me? Very good. And then could you please just put your two index fingers together, kind of like how this is with your nails? Nails just like that, okay? Can you do that for me? Very good, okay. Go ahead and put that down. So, let me just take a couple notes. And then we will take a little listen. Or rather, we'll take a little feel of your pulses and your arms. So, firstly, I'm going to just check your radial pulses bilaterally at the same time, okay? So, just putting my fingers on your radial pulses here. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to feel your ulnar pulse, okay? That one's a little tougher to feel. So, now I'm going to feel your brachial pulse, okay? And that's right at the crook of your elbow. So, just going to feel that. Good. The other side. Okay, and I'll just feel that bilaterally. Alright, very good. And next, I'm going to be checking your legs and your feet, okay? So, I'll disappear from view for a little bit, and I'm just going to be mostly palpating your legs and just inspecting, okay? Alright, so, I'm going to drop down. And I'm just going to look for any edema here, any swelling. just want to make sure the... Color is correct. Okay, and I'm going to feel your pedal pulse here. Okay, and your post tube. 
And I'm going to check your capillary refill on your toes. Doing good. Okay, very good. So I'm going to come back up. Okay, so doing all right? So now I'm going to have you lay back down and I'm going to do an abdominal assessment, okay? Be having a feel, having a little listen, right? Excellent. So have you lay down. I'm just going to take my notes on your legs while you're doing that. Okay. So I'm just going to check the contours of your abdomen and see if there's any pulsations at all, okay? I know that sounds a little scary, doesn't it? Okay. All right, let me take, let me take a little listen to your abdomen. I know I said I wasn't going to be using the sesco, but it's a touch short-sighted. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to percuss your abdomen just like we did for your back, okay? I'm going to put my hand on your abdomen and just tap around, okay? So now I'm just going to palpate your, your abdomen. I'm going to first use kind of a shallow pressure and then I'll go deeper into it. So please let me know if there's any pain or tenderness, okay? Alright, so and just shallow pressures here. All good so far? Okay, now I'm going to use deep pressure. Still good? Yeah, this can be a touch uncomfortable. Okay, all feels good. Wonderful. So, I'm just going to have you sit back up while I take the notes. Okay, so we're going to do some musculoskeletal tests and your reflexes, okay? So firstly, I would like you to lift your chin up as far as you can, okay? Very good. And can you go all the way down to your chest as far as you can? Good. What about left? And right. All good? Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to check the range of motion in your arms. So I'm just going to move them around. You don't have to do anything. Okay. I'm just going to grab your arm and just check the range of motion here. Good. Good. Getting a little stretched out here, huh? Very good. I'm just going to rotate your wrists here. Wonderful. Have you put your arms up for me? And I'm just going to try pulling them towards me. I want you to resist me. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to try to push them back. I want you to resist me. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to be testing your reflexes. So I'm going to grab my reflex hammer. Alrighty, so first I'm going to just hold your arm up and to the side, okay? Up to the side, and I'm just going to just get it down. Very good. So now I'm going to test your range of movement on your legs. I'm just going to be just maneuvering your legs and rotating your ankles, things like that. So I'll disappear for a little bit, all right? Okay, just gonna pull up your leg here and just going to roll your ankle. Okay, and your other leg. And now I want you to just push your feet down against my hands here. Okay, I'm going to be on top here. I'm going to be pull up your feet. Very good. While I'm down here, I'm going to test your Achilles reflex and your Babinski reflex. So, the Achilles here. Okay. And the Babinski on the foot. Okay, yeah, that one's a touch weird, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and I'm gonna come back up. There we are. And I'm gonna test your knee jerk reflex. So, I'm just gonna step to the side. Good. testing your movement a little bit. So, I want you to stand up for me. Okay? And I'm going to have you close your eyes. Okay? And I'm going to have you just put your hands on your hips. Okay? Can you twist at your hips? Alrighty. Very good. And can you bend over and touch your toes? Very good. Okay. And you can go ahead and open your eyes. I'm going to have you keep your bent there, and I'm just going to feel your spine. Okay. Getting a little uncomfortable, huh? All right. Almost done. Okay. You can go ahead and come back. I know that one's not so much fun. Okay, and now I want you to walk to the other end of the room, heel to toe, okay? So your toes touching your heels and then move like that. Very good, and you go ahead and walk back this time on your heels. So with your feet up on your heels. Mm-hmm. And can you walk back again, this time on your toes? Mm -hmm. And you can come back normally. Very good. Okay, so that about does it. So, how do you feel? Okay, there wasn't anything out of the ordinary that I found at all. You look healthy as a horse, and you've got a clean bill of health. 
Do you have any questions for me at all? Yeah, that last part was a little wonky, huh? I do admit I had kind of forgotten about, about what I was supposed to do, so I know I'm going to get docked for that. Yeah, I'll round for next time, though. Okay? Alright, well, let's set this down. It was an absolute pleasure working with you today. I really appreciate you being here so I can practice my skills, okay? I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night.